Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's July 27th, 2024. I'm down here working in the new pond site. And uh, so I'm on the peninsula right now. So here we are in the peninsula. You can see the trees around us right here. And the roadways are all around in here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yesterday I moved a lot of the earth from an excavation site over there up into here uh, because it was a pretty steep drop off. Now there's a lot of work to be done here to, to make this a gradual slope down here. Uh, and this morning I came down here and uh, started excavating some of this area down in here. Uh, I've got, I'm pretty much set with the major excavation of this side. I already finished the other side which is smaller over there on the other side. Uh, and uh, so the the main goal of today is just to give myself a little bit of a stair stepping marginal zone here so we have three different layers here and later on after things dry up because I'm working in muddy stuff right now uh, we're trying to let all the rest of this dry up and this area here dry out s some more so that I can get on it eventually uh, but what I'm doing today is excavating out some of this material right in here, backing myself back up where the where the stream gets into here, where the uh, uh, spring-fed uh, well and uh, spring come out. So this whole area here has not been connected to the canal or the upper pond system. So the large pond uh, weeps into the lower pond and the lower pond there's a spillway that dumps into the canal and the canal dumps over to the other side and so that's a little bit higher water level than what this is here uh, so my goal uh, this morning is just to, to do some stair steps here and then maybe i'll go over and open up the little bridge over there uh, the, the the dam that i have some land that's over there that uh, separates this ex excavation site from the the main system there so hopefully I'll get over and do that I've got some more work to do in here get this out uh, it'll be a lot of sloppy stuff up in here it is kind of bony in here I'm, I'm hitting a, a, a significant uh, vein of gravel all of this water came from you know the the uh, the uh, the springs and the sand and gravel below it working its way up in here. Uh, so I think the water level could be as much as a foot higher than this ultimately. So maybe where I'm digging right there will be a foot foot high. Uh, the, the water may reach a foot higher than that. It'll probably take a, a good day or two for this to, to get up in here. But today and tomorrow and possibly the next day it looks like we're not going to get any rain which is fantastic for getting some of this stuff done. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get back on Elon here and do a little bit more over here. Clean up that that area right in there. Uh, later on, I'll do all the dressing work here after things, after the soil really compacts down some and, and, and solidifies and a lot of the moisture works its way out into the pond system here. Uh, but pretty happy with how it's come so far, and uh, we'll see what we can get accomplished. So here I go. In the heart of the land where the wild things play, we dream of a pond where the creatures can stay. With a gentle slope and a soft clay bed, We'll craft a haven where the life will spread Designing a pond, a natural dream Where the waters flow and the sunlight gleams A home for the fish and a rest for the birds A symphony of life without a single word Shape it with care, make it wild and free with a mix of depths and a touch of greenery The edges that slope where the plants can thrive And 
this peaceful haven so many lives will thrive designing upon a natural dream where the waters flow and the sunlight gleams a home for the fish and a rest for the birds a symphony of life without a single word water's a gift for the earth and the skies Irrigation for fields where the green will rise Recharge the aquifer, keep the fire at bay In this little oasis, we find a new way Wildlife will come where the habitat's right With native plants and a touch of light Creages and margins where the turtles can rest Elevations of earth for them to nest A diversity of trees and bushes abound For birds to nest where safety is found Zones for the flora and fauna to roam In this natural world they'll make it their home Dying upon a natural dream Where the waters flow and the sunlight gleams A home for the fish and a rest for the birds A symphony of life without a single word So here's to the pond where our dreams take flight A canvas of nature both day and night Designed with love, every stone and leaf In this natural world we find our relief Well, I finished uh, <clears throat> the major excavation, digging the, uh, the different uh, sections of the pond out. So that part of this project is, is done. Uh, Pretty happy about that, uh, but that's like laying the foundation uh, for a building for your home. So there's a lot more to be done, but the uh, the stress level that I had about getting this part done uh, is is complete, and hopefully we'll have a couple more days of uh, warmth and lack of rain, and that'll be beneficial as well. So. Here we are, I did finish excavating out this area here and I piled it up there. I lost another tooth from the bucket. I got, it's, it's hard to imagine how in, in one week's time I could lose three teeth from the excavator bucket. I don't know why that is. But anyways, uh, after uh, excavating out this site over here, I went over there and opened up the section between the canal system, which if, which accepts the flow from the uh, from the other side over there, where the lower pond feeds into this area. So first the water level went down, and now it's gradually coming up some. So we'll see just where the water level will be. I think the water level will be right at the top of this section over here, uh, where that is. And everything here is soaking wet because it was wet as I was excavating out this section. So I'm pretty happy with the shapes and the various uh, different levels of the water and how we have different marginal zones. So there's sections in here, but all the fish can get back and forth between the areas. There, there's places for the turtles to sun as well and lots of ingress and egress uh, locations this whole area here will get uh, repaired after things really dry up some but uh and i still have a lot to do with the peninsula here but we'll just walk around here and see so this is a little island section that i dug around there yep Walk across here. So 
The entrance is over there. I'll walk over there in a couple of minutes. And uh, that, that accepts water going into this section here and goes around to the canal over here. So we're on the peninsula right now. So this is one of the sections, uh, marginal zones. We have di all different levels of marginal zones around here for the flora and fauna. And there's where the canal comes comes in over there. We'll go over there in a moment. But it also breaks through between the trees over there and goes into this section. And it's still quite soft here. And so this is the whole uh, peninsula area here. I've got a lot of work to do here, but the soil is still pretty darn moist. I probably will open up this section right in here, potentially. Uh, I may not. Uh, it really depends on how things work out here and what I see as far as root structure on these trees. This one's nearly dead, this maple. This maple is doing fine over here. So, and we'll be uh, replanting in this whole area. Small blueberry bush right there. So we'll be bringing in, bringing in some of the blueberry bushes. So this is some of the regrowth from some of the beaver work here. These are some of the sections over on this side. And again, this is all the peninsula area here in here. And I'll be pulling all this, this earth out and sloping it uh, as best as I can. Some of the trees look really good. Some are in, in pretty rough shape, but we'll deal with how things turn out and we'll be planting a whole bunch more trees over in here. Thick, beautiful, rich, brown soil all throughout here, but there's sand on top of some of it in here. And I'll have to remove a lot of soil from the base of these trees here. They're all at different levels, different elevations, I should say. We'll go around to where the I opened up the section over there now. And as you can see, I've got a lot of work with the roads around here. Putting the four wheel. Still really wet here. I'm hoping over the next couple of days things will be better. This is the opening that I made uh, to go into the section that I just finished excavating over there. So here's the canal system here we saw from the other side. So now that's open so that water can flow through here. Uh, you know, there's no way I can put uh, a channel going to the other side of the peninsula because it is a peninsula. And the water level is down now because I opened up all those sections. We only had the uh, small amount of seepage in. It's 
So this is down maybe eight to 10 inches in depth. And here's where the water's coming from the lower beaver pond over here. And so I'll be pulling some of the, uh, the plants from the various places in the ponds to repropagate the plants around the excavation site here as well. So I should mention that, uh, that by the time this video posts, I will have finished an article on building, designing and building a natural pond system. Uh, I don't know, I put in close to a dozen ponds on this property and, uh, and I've learned a lot over the years, uh, things not to do and things to do. Uh, and this pond, I think, is going to turn out beautifully. Uh, it's got some shade components. It's got the full uh, sunlight as well. It has all the different depths. It, you know, it, it isn't an ideal pond by most people's standards because there's no clay in here. So there's no clay bottom. But this is part of the recharge system and it's 50 foot down in elevation from the top of the property. So all of the water that accumulates in all of the other ponds and the swales and canals, it works its way down here and works its way up through the base of the, of the uh, sand here to fill up the pond. And then we have the overflow from the upper uh, beaver pond up above up there and this one here. I'm not gonna include any uh, aerial photography or video from the drone today. Uh, and so I guess one of the things I should say about the design article that will be on our website, mindfullivingsanctuary.com, uh, it's going to take into account the most introductory parts of it. It's, you know, you know your climate, uh, your uh, geographic uh, area, your uh, zone that you live in, uh, and also, you know, the, uh, the topography, the uh, elevation, the, the, the type of soil that you have, the goals that you have. Do you want it to irrigate your gardens? Do you want the, what do you want the, the garden to do? Uh, I mean, the ponds to do that you're, you're designing. So all of those things will be put in the article. A lot to do with design and uh, the scale of permanence, things I've talked about before in articles I've written and videos I've made. <clears throat> so, this is where we're at at this point. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, now comes the next phase. And so, like, this is the foundation to a building. And now we have to work on the... Uh, that some of the main structures that go around in here as well. But before I can do that, I have to clean up the roadways around, uh, get the slopes uh, straightened out. Well, getting the slopes and the grade it, uh, set is important as well. Uh, and being able to manage the water. So we're not using this for fire mitigation or anything like that. This is mostly for uh, a natural ecosystem and mostly for uh, a place for, for people to come and learn about systems like this and how we integrate it into a, uh, to a landscape and how we're not trying to change everything, we're just trying to enhance uh, the system. So, so if you watch the first couple of videos on this, you could see where we're just trying to decide what's what here and uh, the different elevations and where the beaver had made their channels through here as well. So uh, it'll be a couple of years before this pond is completely finished because we're going to let the beavers come back in here. I mean, not that we've stopped them, but they, they really haven't come in here. Probably by fall, they'll be back in here working around and, uh, and they'll probably take out some of the trees that we transplant in here as well. So I think that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and uh, I'll try to cover those in future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye now.